Hey, welcome to my warehouse. I'm Blake. As you probably know, the eBay CEO has resigned as of two days ago, yesterday. I'm not sure, depending on when this video posts. Uh, Rally Roots did a great job breaking down what led up to this. I'm going to link that video below. I've watched it twice. You should too. But what I want to talk about is the future, how this will affect us, and what I think it signals for your e-commerce business. This is a quick four-point video, but first, while you're here, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below with what kind of merchandise you would like to buy from me. Uh, I'm being pursued with offers, and I would like to make some cash on that end. The first thing this signals to us is that there will be changes at eBay. Whenever your CEO is pushed out, and trust me, he was pushed out. You don't just resign from a, a famously successful company. Things were not going good, uh, and eBay believes it's time to pivot. Pivot from what? We don't know. He was big on uh, seller fees, promoted listings. I don't know. Maybe it might be a more buyer-centric model. eBay is not dead in the water. Not at all. But they are slowly sinking, and they have been for quite some time. The second thing that this tells us is you need to diversify. If you haven't diversified, this is the time to do it. And I don't mean just go to Etsy or whatever. I mean find patently new ways to make money. Real diversification is not just doing eBay, Amazon, Etsy. It's having uh, a, a storefront. It's having a consulting service. It's doing all sorts of things that are not tied to each other. Remember Yahoo Auctions? They're gone. Etsy was great a decade ago, but they've been showing signs of decay. Online e-commerce is never a guaranteed thing, but people are always going to want things. This is your wake-up call. Changes happen. eBay could be gone in a year. Are they going to be? Probably not. Probably not at all. But will there be a, a change in the ranking? We just don't know. And so to hedge ourselves from all that uncertainty, we diversify. Uh, and we hold on to we know what is true. The third thing I think we can glean from this is that there is a lot of uncertainty uh, about the economic forecast of the next few years. A lot of people may see a recession coming, and whenever that occurs, uh, large corporations and even small businesses, they try and stockpile money to endure the storm. My opinion personally is that this shows that eBay does not think that consumer sales are going to be uh, as big as they were across the board, not just for them, over the next few years. Maybe this means they're going back to used items. Who knows? Those kind of stores always seem to do well during recessions. What we do know, though, is that uh, there are people who may be worried. I don't want to be all doom and gloom, but I am one of them, and I think this just further proves that point. The fourth thing and the last thing I think we can look to is that there's going to be uh, competitors creeping into eBay's market. When you smell blood in the water, you attack. My opinion personally is that eBay has been ignoring their bread and butter. What got them so huge was auctions. Now, there's not as much money in auctions as there is in uh, single listings. You know, the prices are lower, but they bring in more people, more deal hunters. These deal hunters, in my opinion, uh, are going to be a growing demographic as the uh, economic climate kind of gets worse and worse and worse. The same reason we saw auto parts stores blow up during the uh, last recession, the same reason we have Dollar Trees growing and buying out other stores is because people are a lot more conscious of where their money is going. Does that mean that eBay is going back to auctions? I don't think so, but I think it does mean that there are competitors in the marketplace, Mercari 2.0, whatever there is, you know, next app that debuts in three months, will find a way to potentially gamify that experience. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that those bargain hunters, that demographic is really going to be a growing one and one that large corporations try to get some money out of in the next few years. I just finished watching season one of Carnival Row. It's a great show. One of the themes in there is that uncertainty creates potential. I could not agree more with that sentiment. As the world around you is crumbling, double down on what you know is true, and you will come out successful. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, in chaos lies opportunity. See you next time.